Hi, my name is Lily and today I want to show you my bow and arrow technique. Stay tuned. Okay, first of all, I want to talk about the bow and arrow techniques in general. So there are quite a lot of different techniques that you can learn, but I don't think that there is really one perfect bow and arrow technique. And the thing is really that you have to develop your own bow and arrow technique. And today I want to show you the one that I developed for myself. Okay, let's start with the positioning of your body to your target. First of all, I'm gonna stand in a 90 degrees angle to my target. I'm gonna shoot with my right hand because I'm a right-handed person. So, and what's important is that you have a very stable stand, not like this, not like this. You should stand shoulder wide and bend your knees a little bit. The next important thing that we have to discuss is the anchor. So it's important that you always anchor at the same position in your face. Bring the sinew to your face. Don't be afraid of the sinew. And I always anchor like this uh, between my thumb and my hand. I have this cavity here. And here at my face, I have this uh, jaw bone that sticks out a little bit. And I bring the cavity of my hand to this jawbone and I always anchor like this at the same position which is very very important so at this point it's not possible to go uh, forward with your hand it's really like an anchor in your face okay next uh, we have to talk about aiming aiming is very important and I don't have aim on my bows and I should quite instinctively with aiming just a little bit and the way I aim is that I let the sinew run right over my eye and then I aim with the sinew and the tip of the arrow at my target and create three points which I bring into one line. The next thing that we have to talk about is releasing the arrow. So now we have our shooting position like this and we have anchored our hand correctly. Our elbow is up here. And I've seen a lot of people who just let go of the sinew like this. But that way you will be far more inaccurate than with the other technique that I use, which is basically you just um, loosen your fingers a little bit and then you pull through with your elbow come down with your elbow and rest the hand on your shoulder. So with the right technique and a little bit of practice you can get very good in a short time and make good groupings like this here. But there's one more thing that I want to show you. Okay now we have talked a lot about the technique of shooting a bow but we didn't talk about the instinctive part yet. So, and the thing that I'm doing is basically, I aim with my arrow at the target and then I imagine that the target comes closer and closer and the tip of my arrow is touching the target where I want to shoot it. It's like, you know, pressing your hand against the target and almost touching it. Yeah guys, so this was my bow and arrow shooting technique. Maybe you learned one or two things. And I think that bow and arrow shooting is a lot of fun and it's never too late to start. So I want to thank you for watching. Check out these videos here at the sides. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more.